everyone. It's been a little while, but welcome to 2023. Um, the fact that I'm about a week late for this Happy New Year video aligns perfectly with what I wanted to say today. Um, and that's around the pressure that we place on ourselves at the start of the new year to hit the ground running, be super productive, be all pinky in the brain, going to take over the world, energy. Um, but honestly, for most of us, that type of throw everything at it mentality, if we aren't able to keep it up, it can leave us demotivated, sometimes deepens any confidence issues that we have. And of course, it can just burn us out. So... Here's something new for you all. This year, let's try to slow the urgency. And I'm especially talking to those in leadership positions or who are founders or entrepreneurs. When there is so much unspoken pressure for us to be better or go harder than the previous year. They say if you keep doing the same thing, but expect different results, that that's the definition of insanity. Um, I don't like that saying for different reasons, but it suits this example. So we are conditioned to have this bright eyed, bushy tailed, rearing to go feeling in January. But for many of us, the momentum can start to feel like a burden. Um, and an example of this is I had my first client session of 2023 on Friday gone and we spoke about, you know, he wanted to set some goals for this calendar year. And in doing that, my client said that he already felt overwhelmed by it all. Um, that's no way to enter into a new cycle. So. What I suggested to him and what I'll suggest to you all is to, to, for us to try to make this year about strategy and working smart instead of hard. So what do I mean by that and what can you do to take the pressure off? So my first tip for taking off the pressure this year is to examine what your non-negotiable goals are first. So, for example, there may be things happening in life. So, like, for example, your rental lease is running out this year and you've got to find a new place to live or your contract is running out or changing this year um, and you need a new job, a new contract or you want to start your own business. Or let's say, unfortunately, um, your mortgage interest rate is due to increase or your investors are expecting a certain level of business growth. Um, then you might need to deal with those variables and there's no argument for those. Those are non-negotiable things that you need to change, that you need to do, that you need to, to make happen. So once you've set your non-negotiables, everything else should have more flow. So yes, being strategic means setting goals and it means striving for those goals, but it also means being flexible and realistic in your expectations for yourself. Um, so make sure that your negotiable goals are reasonable and they're motivating. But you also don't need to fill up all your available time in your yearly calendar with goals that maybe are what you think you should do. And instead, look at what would actually bring you the most joy and progression. And that thing is there because the things that bring us the most joy really are the things that bring us the further, the furthest. I'll get my words out today. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was don't be too hard on yourself. Um, because we are all going to get somewhere. And I think once you've found that you can be more in flow, that you can be under less pressure, that actually you will uh, find wins in things that maybe you didn't notice before. Another great way to take the pressure off is to ask for help when needed. And I'm talking to myself, Dawn, I'm talking to you. Um, many times leaders and particularly founders feel like they have to do all the work on their own, but your team, uh, your support, whether that's family, friends, whoever it is, whether it's your, your, your VA, your PA, the people in your sales team, whoever it is, they are there to help out. So learning to delegate, 
learning to trust your employees or outsourced contractors or colleagues, it can be hard and it takes practice, but it's well worth it in the end. And again, I'm talking to myself, you'll free up your schedule and you'll become a better leader, a better founder in the process. So finally, one of your non-negotiable goals should be your increased well-being. I go on about this so much, nurturing, having well-being. I currently, I'm in Sharm El Sheikh and um, I'm in Sharm El Sheikh just for four days, just because I need to reset before I really start this new year. If you notice, I've been a bit quiet since the beginning of last week. Um, I'm just here for a few days. I found a really cheap de deal and I decided to come out. So make sure that you take the time for self-care. Um, and this for you might mean going for a walk, having lunch with a friend, reading a book or anything else that makes you feel relaxed. For me, it's being on a beach <laughs> um, in Sharm El Sheikh. But it's also sitting at home, reading a book, listening to an audio book. So I hope that this welcome to 2023 message has been helpful for you. Um, it's really helped me thinking in this way as I tried to do way too much in 2022 and it did result for me in burnout, hence why I'm starting this year differently. Um, but let me know your thoughts and your strategies on how to stay strategic and work smarter whilst reducing the pressure in this coming year in the comments below and we'll speak soon i've got so much coming up this year um thanks for watching and have a good rest of the week